A second in Vestec Oaks for trainer Rafe Beckett, who's with me now, but for good measure, uh, the one-two. Rafe, that must have been beyond your wildest dreams. I think that's fair to say, Stuart. Yeah, I didn't, you know, you don't, you don't think that these things are going to happen like that. And as I'm sure you may have heard, Stuart, uh, Stuart that uh, Richard Hughes came and rode her last week and last Friday, and uh, her part owner, Mark Dixon's Thwart, who won off 63 not so long ago, led her. And she couldn't go past her. He didn't try and, to be fair to Richard, he didn't try and make her, but he, look, he pulled off and he looked at me and I knew what he was thinking, you know. Uh, 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 but, um, you know, she's, she's a very tough filly, very tough filly. And uh, I think as you saw at the top of the, uh, through the early part of the race, she was, wasn't doing a stroke. And then when he put her in the race, she then got keen, you know, she early, she only uh, she only does what's required. Um, so anyway, listen, it's a great day. She was a twenty to one chance, and runner-up Secret Jester was a three to one chance. Is there as much between them as home at the betting suggested there should be today? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, Secret Jester is a work. Although we never really asked her, you know, she's always done everything just like that. Sure. You know, she's never been because, as you've seen, she's a light frame filly. So I never really, you know, never really asked her a big question at home. She always did it all on her own. Um, and today from the draw, Jim had to sort of try and try and make sure he didn't get shuffled back and in traffic. And in the end, you know, perhaps that, you know, that, that did for her. I'm, you know, he, Jim had to do that. That was, you know, he didn't have a choice. Uh, I'm not saying the result would have been reversed either way, but you know, they're two high class fillies and obviously, you know, they're, they're the best of their generation, apparently. So um, I'm not, su you know, I'm not suggesting that it would be different on another day, but I've no doubt that Secret Jester will win a group one at some point. I've no doubt about that. But to come back to talent, she's never looked short of pace, but given her pedigree, you must have been pretty optimistic that she'd get the trip today as well. Oh, yeah, I never had any doubt about that. We were always very surprised last year how, how precocious she was. You know, I remember to ring your owners in 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 uh, June time, going, "I'm about to work this filly," you know, and I shouldn't be looking at her looking at her page. But yeah, she 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 is she she was pretty precocious last year, and we were able to do that. But this spring, she started working more like her pedigree, and so I never had any doubt. And uh, and pretty Polly was a good performance. You know, she she did it all the wrong way around. She keen early, had to switch round the the the, the well-ridden uh, uh, lady Noof. I thought he got a perfect ride by Rich. she got a perfect ride by Richard the eventual second and still won you know and then she came on a bundle for the race you know physically she did extremely well so I never had any doubt that you know she was in the right place it was just a question of whether she was good enough and she was you know. tremendous for our owners for James and yeah. for Mark as well. absolutely fantastic I mean, what a story you know for Mark to inherit his uncle's mares and so on uh, the late Great Dick Collingsworth, and then and then uh, and then to, to for James Rouse, who is a fledgling stud, you know, to go and buy into the mare, and breed a breed a breed an Oaks winner, first pop, you know, I mean, it doesn't happen like that, does it? So uh, no, it's a great it's a, it's, a, it's a great day, and they're two of the nicest people to train for, you know, uh, and 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 uh, they 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 came here to enjoy it, not expecting to win, but hoping they finish in the frame and. You know, she's defied all our expectations. So, one final question, Rafe. How does this compare to Look Here's success? It's very different, Stuart, because Look Here, I never expected it. You know, and although we didn't expect talent today to win, uh, you know, it was very different. It's very different uh, coming today, but the fact that we've been here before made it easier. Okay. You know, and I think that. Uh, and I never expect to win one Oaks, never mind two. So to finish second and first and second is extraordinary, extraordinary day. A remarkable training performance. Many congratulations. Thanks very much.